Hi, it's Laura, and I'm going to show you around Envoy and American Airlines today in our tour. We're going to start our tour at Envoy Airlines. So Envoy is a wholly owned part of, a, of American Airlines Group. Hi, I'm John. Welcome to Envoy. And we're going to begin in our lobby at Envoy Airlines. And they operate CRJ 700s, Embraer 145s, and most recently, they've added the Embraer 175 to their fleet. This is Envoy's SOC, and they have 800 flights a day that are dispatched from this SOC, SOC standing for System Operations Control. Their SOC is made up of three different groups. Basically, we have dispatchers, crew schedulers, and maintenance controllers. They even have, because they realize that IT support is critical to their airline operation, they have their own IT manager in SOC just for dispatch. And then they have one person that's just assigned to all that IT um, support. They have about 56 dispatchers total. The people that are sitting at these desks here are the dispatchers. And then the ones in front of them are 14 different coordinators. Those coordinators are paid a premium per hour and they basically coordinate the airline. Here we're gonna get into some of the training that Envoy does. We have a bunch of different boards that they've got mounted showing different items that, that each airplane has in it. Their crews are trained in self-defense and then um, how to exit the airplane at different times. This is the crew trainer for exit. We have different posters that they've got posted all over in the classrooms. And let's talk about the training process. Um, once a pilot is hired by Envoy <clears throat> and trained and flying the line, they are able to float through to American Airlines with no additional interview actually required. Currently Envoy's got about 1,900 pilots. And here's some more of their door trainers. Day, day one of your training at Envoy, if you were to go to them, you will find out your base and your equipment based on your birthday. So that's how they do their class seniority and the older people get to choose first. Each crew member has to go through door training um, and they have to operate each exit and they have to do this uh, training on a regular basis. So what Envoy has is a couple different entire cabin mock-ups and I say a cabin mock-up but really uh, each of these cabins is actually a former fuselage of an airplane and I was told that when they were flying ATRs they had an ATR 42 cabin that actually had fallen off the truck while uh, being trucked to uh, building the aircraft and it fell off the truck and couldn't be used anymore. Now this uh, cabin simulator even has a panel for the instructor to add smoke. It's got smoke generators underneath it. All the exits work and everything. Okay, now we're gonna move over to looking at American Airlines IOC, their Integration, Integrated Operations Center. This is their lobby of the Integrated Operations Center, which is a short drive from Envoy's headquarters. This is more near DFW Airport, right near the C.R. Smith Museum. And so heading into their IOC command center, this is basically a large conference room that has a big screen. It's got a lot of desks as you're gonna see in a moment. They have each of these desks has a phone. They've got all kinds of assigned seating actually in this room. And if anything uh, big is going on at the airline that they have to have a lot of people together, they'll get them all together and focus on that uh, in the room. Now here's their IOC floor. Again, this is uh, made up of dispatch, crew scheduling, and maintenance control. And this is a large, large, large area. They are dispatching uh, with 360 dispatchers approximately, currently at American Airlines. And uh, from this uh, IOC, they're dispatching 3,300 flights a day. This building is built to withstand an EF-3 tornado. And in case they actually had to evacuate because of a emergency in the building, they actually have an offsite area that they would go to and resume operations from the airline in that location. 
This is just something interesting I noticed while walking around here. For some reason, they really like hexagons. I thought it was some sort of metaphor for their operation, but I was just told that when they built the building, they just put a lot of hexagons around. They still have these dot matrix printers, and at one time, they were going through 150 boxes a week of dot matrix paper in their, uh, in their operation center, but now it's almost exclusively electronic. Again, like uh, Envoy, they have IT on-site, two people on-site at all times, on-call, 63 approximately dispatchers on duty at any one time in their IOC. All the lights that you'll see on the poles in IOC, these are for phone uh, signals. And basically, if it's a green flashing light, a phone is ringing. Red flashing, someone's on hold, and red solid, someone's on the phone. And this is really to help their dispatch uh, management to see if anything is really going on that they need to be aware of. Americans had a long history. A lot of different airlines came together to form American Airlines. So here's some of the logos that you can see as you walk down the hall between the American Airlines C.R. Smith Museum and American Airlines Training Center. So we're going to look kind of about the training of American pilots. They have about 15,000 pilots at the moment, uh, approximately in American Airlines, and about 75% of those pilots are going to retire in the next 15 years. So the opportunities are really phenomenal, uh, kind of unprecedented in the industry for new pilots coming in now to Envoy and then to American. This is their pool area. So we've got a really big pool, uh, very large rafts. You see one of them was resting up there. Cabin trainers, uh, just larger scale than Envoy. Some more dummies for fighting with, pretend fighting, and a slide. And unfortunately, I did not get to go down the slide, although the padding at the end looked like it would be much more fun than going down one of these in a real world emergency. But all the crew members have to experience this depending on what aircraft they're based on. And this is for a much larger aircraft. Um, I'm guessing this is a 767 or 787 slide. They got a 767 cabin mock-up. You can kind of see inside here if it exits again, just like that uh, Embraer 145 cabin mock-up that we saw at Envoy. And then they have some more uh, raft storage areas. Actually, when I was there, they had just gotten or one of these rafts out because the orange cover thing you see hanging was uh, hanging up and dripping. These uh, life jackets are just plumbed against the wall with compressed air, so it's really easy for the crew members to practice using them. Uh, simulator Bay is huge, a um, lot of different simulators. American has quite a variety of aircraft. It operates in its fleet. Um, a lot of these simulators along here are Airbus simulators, and uh, these are all lined up in several different very large, large simulator bays. Here's one for the A350 that American Airlines has. Um, these simulators are all obviously full motion, mounted on hydraulics, and we have another simulator here. Uh, I think this is a 757 simulator. And then behind each simulator, in the center of this building, we've got these massive server rooms that control the simulators. Here we have the inside of a 777 simulator, and then another simulator in motion. Um, this is uh, one of the ones that Envoy actually is operating. Um, you can see some of the motion uh, right after I started recording the motion really kind of went down on the simulator, but it still um, kind of illustrates that. So uh, the American Airlines has a lot of opportunities. They got some interesting perks. Uh, just recently, they awarded all American Airlines and their partners, Holy Owns, Envoy, PSA, and Piedmont Airlines. Every employee got two round trip confirmed tickets for anywhere in the world for every single employee. So that is phenomenal. Just wanted to thank Envoy Airlines and American Airlines for making my tour an amazing day. Hope you enjoyed it.